doing well. Uh, it's nearly Friday, which is great. And do note that I'm going to be not trading tomorrow because I've got a load of stuff going on. And also it's NFP roller coaster as well. So um, I think what might happen here is that I've spotted a double top. And if you know if I've spotted it, it's quite likely a lot of retail traders will, will have spotted it as well. And because of that, they'll think that's going to be a good resistance. And then they're going to sell it with a stop just above the double top. I mean, maybe it can be a triple top if you count that candle wick. So they're going to think that's a good resistance and they're going to might sell it. And if they do, we're going to get the buy. And the thing is, it won't be a risky buy because it's already, you know, they're already trapped short. So if they add short to that bias, then we're probably going to pump. <laughs> and I was worried about buying, you know, around here. and But yet we carried on higher. So, uh, um, so that's what I think might happen is that they probably might sell it. We're going to get the buy and then we're probably going to raid some stops up here. And uh, that's the logic, I think. Now, uh, so be careful. I know I say it every day, but I do mean it, especially tomorrow. We're probably going to use the NFP as a driver just to raid stops, just to ruin their day and take their money. And no doubt they were over leveraged anyway. And so it's probably going to come up to just to teach them. And it's going to be a hard lesson for those guys. So uh, they might sell it, like I say, but currently they've gone long. So we have got like a zone. We can create one, but I think it might break. Um, let's move here. So I think it maps to a very thin doji here. No, this one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so it's a thin one. And possible we're going to break it and it might be that logic where they think oh that's going to be a good resistance but then they'll they don't realize that they're not thinking for themselves they you know for you know that they'll they'll create a majority like a, a hive mind uh, you know mindset where if they all get together and they think the same thing then it's going to be uh, quite quite uh, could be quite uh, punishing for them so I think we might break this punishment zone and then raid those stops because I'd imagine that's where they'd be. Okay. Uh, but really, we shouldn't really be coming up because of that. This is the late bulls getting slightly paid. Ever so slightly. So thin resistance and possible likelihood target. And then what happens afterwards, we won't really know for sure. But I do think that's probably what's going to happen is that they looked at that thing. Oh, that's going to be a good resistance. Surely we should be coming down now. And do note that we've really exceeded uh, weekly ATR. And we probably would have pumped above some monthly levels as well. So do be careful with that. I think we are going to probably pump and we're going to raid those stops there. Okay. I might be wrong, but we'll see. Uh, US 30, no, US 500. Now, um, uh, so we created a zone, which is currently holding. So 4139, 4125. And uh, so what currently we're seeing, we are seeing some late balls. Well, actually, those guys who went long, they, they did get punished. Quite a quite a sustained move there. It's a 50-point move. So that was quite a punishing move. And now uh, they start to go long here. So they are slightly getting paid. And I think this is possibly going to hold. But we'll have to wait and see. And... Um, I guess it might just be waiting for the NFP tomorrow. We might just chop and zigzag. But this should be a good resistance. However, if they sell it like gold, then you know what's going to happen. We're going to come up and we're going to raise some stops. No doubt there's going to be lots of stops there. If I was looking to short this, I wouldn't be having a very wide stop. I'd probably place it just above. And if you know, if you think like a million people think do the same thing, what's going to happen? All right. And uh, there's a lot of bears on Twitter as well, loads of bears. And they're just like waking up from the hibernation. And uh, that's normally an ominous sign. US 30, um, where are we? Also, there won't be a Patreon video today because um, we've got a, a trade idea already from the trade, um, the bubbles. So uh, we're going to just be waiting for that. It's the Kiwi Yen and um, sideways on the US 30. So can't really comment there and uh, we did have like a fairly decent diagonal and uh, see we had some multiple respects and now we're on this side of the diagonal can you see 
Let's see if I can double click it. <laughs> I'm not used to this uh, terminal. I don't use it for indicators, just the SSI indicator. Uh, yeah, okay. Something like that. So we're on this side of the diagonal now with some supply that we created from, you know, then going long. So it's a, therefore, you know, an, uh, a natural supply where someone has to counter that trade. So if they go long, who's going to counter that trade? It's the big fish, the banks. So therefore, it's like a pretty decent resistance there. And we're on this side of the diagonal. Uh, however, we can probably continue to rally. I mean, we are just about making a buy on the crossover. So be careful. And uh, I'm quite looking forward to the weekend. I spent all day yesterday um, decluttering my house. I got really tired yesterday. It's actually quite exhausting. Uh, DAX, so, you know, same thing. Um, doesn't look like they're selling it, though. They are going long. Uh, so this is currently paying them a little bit. We should be below these lows. Okay, so I'm going to trade safely. And if you've got the NFP, if you're going to trade it, do be aware that we've got a NJ sell signal, which is much higher up. So I think we might pump up to get that. And just be careful, it might trigger and then stop us out. So perhaps just if you're going to want to take that particular trade, just keep an eye on it. And then if it does look like we're going to puke, then you could potentially take it because our bubbles are suggesting uh, NJ sell. Okay, so if they remain where they are for you know today, later today, tomorrow, then that should be good. But we really shouldn't be going up an NJ because of the sentiment. However, the fundamentals, perhaps we can because you can see, you know, we we are looking like we're pumping a little bit on risk appetite. Because of that, the you know the yen's probably going to depreciate and the New Zealand dollar will appreciate. So we have to remember fundamentals. So. It's all well and good looking at the sentiment, but we can't look at things in a vacuum. You have to remember the fundamentals as well. And obviously the Aussie will be driven by risk on or flows. Likewise for the pound and the dollars considerably a safe haven compared to say, you know, uh, Aussie, for example. And uh, so that's that. So um, I'll wrap up now. Remember to be careful. And if you wanted to take the NJ, it might be better to sell up there and the stop loss will be just above the high. It could be tighter, but we'll have it up here just in case. And my only worry is, is that we'll pump and then we might get stopped out. So you could just perhaps just monitor it. And if we get in this red area here, look to sell it because we really, we should be falling sentimentally. Okay. So trade safely and I'll speak to you guys later.